was alcohol. And then I had a tooth pulled, as I showed you at the beginning. Well, this time around with the Percocet, I went really quick from Perks to Oxys to Oxymorphone. And then I couldn't find Oxymorphone one time, and I needed that high. I needed that same level where I would have been sick. So I met a guy who kept talking about, dude, I got some boy. I got some heroin. And I told myself, no, no, no. I even called other people that I knew that was using oxymorphones and had done heroin and that had been doing heroin. Actually, they had quit the oxymorphones and been doing heroin. And I said, hey, dude, I'm about to do some heroin. What do you guys think? And they're like, nah, man, no, 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 don't do it. Dude, just uh, stay with the stay with the Opanas. You need help finding them, I'll help you find them. Don't, don't do the heroin. And I'm like, dude, is it the same? And like, what, what is it? Is it similar? I mean, what, what's the deal? Dude, just don't, just don't do the heroin, man. I mean, and one guy's like, yeah, it's the same, man. It's the same, dude. It's actually better, dude. It's cheaper. You can save your money. So I'm like, well, uh, nah, let's just buy an Opana. So I bought an Opana that day. Next day, keep in mind, that Opana cost 70 freaking dollars for a 40. And I'm like, damn. And he's like, dude. That guy who told me to, he was the one who was driving me, was like, yo, we should just get the boy. It's cheaper. He's like, bro, we'd have had three times the amount of what this just gave you and me because we, we ended up splitting the pill. We'd have had three times, four times the amount of this for the same price, probably more. We could have got a half for 80, you know, whatever. And so I finally was like, damn, is it that much of a difference? I could get more and save my money? Yeah. So I tried it, and when I did, I tried it with no one else knowing but the dope boy. I didn't want anyone else knowing but the dope boy. Word got out that I was doing it, but I was just snorting it. And all I needed was $20 to get my fix. And I was like, wow, $20. Went from 20 bucks to $40 after a while. And I'm like, I'm snorting this stuff, and I'm like, damn, $40 for me to really get my high. Huh. One day I didn't have $40. All I had was 20 bucks or 10 or $15. Now keep in mind, the dope dealer needed a place to live. I let him live in my house. I gave him a room and everything. So if I needed dope, I could walk 10 to 12 steps, tap on the door, and have dope. That day, I didn't have the money for a lot to get my buzz. So there's an easier, quicker way, and you can use less instead of snorting it. Syringes. Put it in a needle. Stick it directly in your vein. It'll go straight in the central nervous system. I did that for some time. Actually, since I'd started doing the needles, I haven't stopped till this past Friday. Now I'm five days. And let me tell you something. I had the worst night of my life on Saturday. I had tremors. I had cold sweats. I was hot and cold. I had 104 temp with migraines and fevers that were so bad I felt like I had like, if you will, my neck felt like it was uh, like knotted up, like I had, uh, I don't know how to describe it, like I had cramps in my neck, like I couldn't bend my neck. I took like seven freaking baths that night. I uh, could not sleep. The sun started coming up in the morning when it did. That's when I actually started to get three minutes. Oh, there he goes sitting here yelling and 30 minutes of rest. I was laying on my belly. The only way I could find a way to get comfortable was lay on my belly with my legs and my arms flared out and it was really not comfortable. I had to tell my mind to calm down and try to focus just to even try to get any rest. Next day comes around and I felt decent during the day, but the next night, irritable, legs kicking, couldn't get these little spiders that are crawling in my legs out, and my lower back, I mean, I was just miserable, miserable, day after that, that was last night, same thing, here I am tonight, same thing, what the hell, right, so I went to a meeting today, and I said, look, I can't sleep. I haven't slept in three and a half days, like, good, maybe 30 minutes a night, 45 minutes a night. And they're like, don't sleep. You're not going to die from it. 
Don't sleep. Your body and your mind will shut off when it's time. Fucking make yourself stay up then. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Don't go to sleep. So I didn't, and here I am. I decided to make a video because I saw other people made videos, and I'm sure these videos might be inspirational. I'm hoping you guys cheer and root me on. Never done anything as hard as heroin, and so here I am. I'm hoping that people will see this, know that they will never want to do what I did, learn. They say a wise man learns from other people's mistakes. A smart man learns from his own. I don't know if I'm either one. So I hope people out here watching are wise. If you're not wise, go ahead and be smart and stop while you're ahead and don't do heroin. If you do heroin... You might as well be asking for a death wish. You're looking for HIV, Hep C, Hep B, or you want a freaking overdose so that someone could shove Narcan in your system to try and bring you back to life. You could get arrested, you can get killed, shot, whatever, over the fucking dope. You're going to lose everything you own, pretty much ruin your life. You're most likely not going to maintain a job if you're doing heroin. I mean, it's very difficult. You're going to injure your body, you're going to lose weight, you're going to physically really demand a lot out of yourself, and you're going to suffer as soon as you do stop. One day you'll have to stop. You're not going to go for the rest of your life doing dope and not be able to have those times where you're going to have to detox. And let me tell you something, the worst detox in the world, unless you plan on being some, on something to stay high for the rest of your life and do Suboxone or Methadone and stay fogged up... Because that shit fogs your brain up. I've done it all. I've done it all. Fentanyl, methadone, suboxone, you name it. Whatever stuff you can get. It will fog your mind up. You don't feel the joy of life. You don't get to experience good times. You don't really have that fullness of life that you get being completely sober. And that's what I'm aiming for right now. So I'm staying up for you guys. I'm staying up for myself. And I'm going to let you guys know. Hopefully I'll make another video, but I'll try and make them shorter. And let you guys know just quick, uh, you know, 10-minute little videos, 5-minute little videos of snippets of what my progress is like and where I'm at. I've seen people relapse. The videos where people said, oh, I've relapsed, I've screwed up. I hope that's not me. I can't say that it's not going to be me. I really don't have willpower in this. But I have to take the necessary keys and the next steps on trying to do these 12-step programs and getting involved in these groups and talking to people, staying in contact constantly with people, trying to stay sober and clean. But I hope that helped, man. All right, y'all. Have a good one.